Hello and welcome to another gas walkthrough. Uh, my name is Bill Murphy. Today I will be solving for you 29th of February uh, first impression Sudoku by Clover. Uh, the reason why I paused there was I've been waiting this whole time to make a Leap Day William joke, uh, but I don't know how many fans of 30 Rock we have in our audience. Um, but we are genuinely approachable Sudoku gas. Uh, we make a variant Sudoku for you to try for free um, down at the link below. I'll make sure to put it down there for you. Uh, solve it really quickly. Get two party hats. Two party hats don't count. They're not redeemable for anything. Or, you know, if you slightly saw it, you get a respectable one party hat. Uh, anyone who completes puzzle at all gets a dinosaur. Um, and I'm not sure what today's dinosaur is. It is a... Oh, da, 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 da. It is a Keen Canary Mimis. Cool. Um, but yes, this is First Impression Sudoku by Clover. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, each box, row, and column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Uh, then, some of the digits have been shaded. Uh, now, digits in shaded cells must be greater than uh, the digit at the start of that row and the start of that column. So here, three must be greater, uh, th three must be greater than either one or two. Um, so we'll use that knowledge in a second. Um, Please feel free to give it a go before you get going. Um, the link's below, but I'm gonna jump right in. Um, I'll tell you what my first impression is, Clover. Nice, non-rotationally symmetrical puzzle. Mm. All right, um, so two is greater than one and one. Uh, three is greater than one and two. Uh, now, this four down here needs to be greater than uh, three up here and either two or three over here. This four needs to also be greater than either two or three. Um, I'm gonna stop with that uh, logic. That, oh, uh, this has to be a four, and this has to be a four, because we have a five in a shaded cell. Um, then I'm going to stop there with that logic and come over here. Now, um, Greater than seven means that these two must be eight or nine. Greater than six means that it must be seven, eight, or nine, but I already have an eight, nine pair in this box. Uh, so uh, for people who have never encountered uh, us before, a pair is just when I know that this cell has to be one of two candidates and this cell has to be the same of these two candidates. Now, it doesn't matter which way they go, but they do eliminate uh that possibility from being in that cell otherwise i'd be left with two nines in a box now uh greater than five but can't be seven eight or nine means that this must be six this is now a one two uh pair in this box that rules out three from here puts two down here and now we have a three four pair in this box putting three four there uh this becomes five now uh, these cells need to be greater than three, but they can't be four, uh, seven or nine. So they must be five, six or eight. This cell here just sees five and six, which gives me nine and eight. Uh, and this cell needs to be greater than five, but it can't be six, eight or nine. So this must be seven. This cell, uh, and this cell both need to be greater than five. Um, but they can't be six, seven, so they must be eight, nine. Uh, this nine tells us that nine must go here and eight must go here. Um, I still can't quite finish that off, but I'll just leave a five, six there to remind myself. Uh, this cell needs to, oh, nice. Uh, that cell needs to be greater than four, but it can't be five, seven, eight, or nine. So it must be uh, six. And that's nearly all of these. Uh, bad boys done. All right. Um, so let's do some more Sudoku. Oh, that's a one. All right. Uh, seven goes here. And now that I know that seven can't go there, 
seven must go there in column one. Eight, nine pair, four, five, seeing this cell, making it a six, four, five, uh, eight, nine to go there. Uh, four is the last remaining digit I need to place in that cell. So this is three, six, and eight. Um, I can do all of those, which unwinds most of the top three boxes for me. That's a nine. Uh, this is a one, two pair, and this is five, six, and eight. Um, all right, let's come down here. What do we got? Oh, we can just do this. Two, eight, nine to place. Two, eight, nine going that way. Uh, three and five. Eight and nine to go down there. Uh, this is one, two, and four. The only place I can put four in column six is here. Um, all right. This cell can't see... Uh, three from the three, four pair or two. So this must be a seven, uh, three and two to finish out that uh, row. Two undoes that for us. Um, this has to be one, two, five, and six. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, one, two, and five. See this cell, which makes this six, five. Um, and then this is one and two. Uh, I can just put a two there, one there. Uh, six, seven, eight to place in this box. This can't be six. Uh, uh, hmm. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna come back to that cell. Um, this is one, two, one. Uh, because so help me God, if uh Clover could have made this puzzle symmetric and she didn't, um, I'm going to. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, that cell's just needed to disambiguate it. All right, cool. Uh, this is nine and seven. Um, yes, you may have seen my first impressions puzzle uh, a few days ago, but sometimes it's just fun to see how other people's brains work. Um, this cell needs to be greater than seven. So this is eight. And this disambiguates and finishes off the whole puzzle. This has been... First impression Sudoku by Clover. I'm still Bill last time I checked. Um, yes, I am doing this in bed sometimes. Uh, you know, even gas setters deserve comfort from time to time. Uh, but this has been first impression Sudoku. I'm still Bill. Um, whether it's a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, uh, or night, wherever you are, have a good one. I'll see you on the flip side. Cheers.